Hello YouTube, welcome to my second tutorial on how to download videos from Microsoft Streams. If you've been using Microsoft Teams for a while now, which of course most people have been using, you will realize that until someone grants you access to download a recording of a meeting, you are not able to do that. And uh, I have done a tutorial for that for Windows users and I'm doing for Mac users as well. Um, uh, we have the, the streamer project repository here on GitHub. So you can just go check it out. Uh, we have all the documentation and all that, everything here. Prerequisite of everything that you will need. And I'm going to take you through. Now, the the special thing about this tutorial is that I uh, we are not going to install node and because I've compiled a code that you don't need to install node, you don't need to run npm commands. The only thing you basically need is ffmpeg right here and uh, that's what we are going to do. So, I just want us to start the ball rolling and then um, so as you can see um on Mac OS Sierra um ten point twelve point six and uh, any version of this and higher should work. Most versions of Mac should work with this method. So first and foremost we are going to install FFmpeg. So I'm going to put the link to download the compilable code. Um, we have all in this zip folder, zip file here. And uh, I'm going to put a link there. So when you download, uh, as you can see, uh, I have downloaded it and it's in my downloads folder right here. So I'm just going to extract it by just double clicking. So yes extraction has begun so i'm just extracting it into this downloads folder and uh, i'm just going to wait a while for this download to for this uh, zip file to extract okay so extraction complete so you can see the contents of uh, of um the new folder that was extracted we have chromium the streamer ffmpeg so everything um, runs in the terminal so i'm just going to open my terminal by going here to my search click on my search and then i just type terminal and then i just hit enter okay so my terminal window should open So, all right, my terminal is open. Now I am not, I need to navigate into this folder here, the streamer dash Mac OS folder. I need to navigate there. So to do that, I'm just going to uh, enter this symbol right here. It's just a symbol uh, depending on the type of your keyboard, but uh, I'm sure you'll find your way around. So first, sorry, you just need to type cd, meaning change directory to this symbol forward slash downloads, downloads, then forward slash d streamer dash mac os and enter. So I'm now in that folder. So you can see the streamer Mac OS is right here, meaning that that's the directory I'm in now. Okay, so now I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move the ffmpeg file to um, a user file in our system. So I'm just going to type mv ffm 
back remember everything is case sensitive especially the file names so I'm just going to move it to this location for slash usr slash local slash bin and the reason why we are moving it to here so that ffmpeg can be accessible anywhere I am uh, any location I am and for all users so hit enter and uh, if you don't see any errors meaning that the move has been completed when you come to this folder you will see that ffmpeg is no longer here which means the move is successful all right so now let's test whether ffmpeg is working in our system so we just type ffmpeg hit enter all right so when you see an output equivalent to this meaning that um, the installation is is successful all right now uh, i just want to clear my screen clear all right now remember we are still in the distreamer mac os folder here we are still here so i'm going to test whether my distreamer um my distreamer my distreamer file is working well all okay. right so i just type the file name here the streamer here is an executable file so i just type the name the streamer and see the outputs so it's giving me command not found because i type the wrong command the right command is to start with the dot forward slash the streamer and then enter all right so you see i have um, all the features of the streamer here help and all that so format right here is these are the supported format or anything ffmpeg supports so i recommend we use mkv because it's quite efficient and of course it's also the default so we have nothing to worry about so I'm just going to clear clear again all right now now we can start with our download process don't worry I'm going to leave the command and everything in the, the description below for Windows users, um, I've already done uh, your tutorial and uh, I'm going to leave the link to that video also in the description as well. Alright, so this is how, this is a command to enter dot forward slash dstreamer and then space minus i and then quotation and then I'm just gonna gonna so now at this point you need to get the link to uh, your Microsoft stream video um, you can find your link in Microsoft teams by looking for the video and then get the link or you can go into your browser I already have that so I'm just gonna paste it here all right so that's the format of the link and then i'm just going to close and then that will be all now you can you can uh, change the format by up writing space double dash format format then quotation if i want mp4 and then close but uh, i am just going to use when i don't have anything here i'm just I'm going to get the default format of the MKV, so I'm going to leave it like that. So this is basic the basic command to enter. If you need uh, more, you can just go to the Distreamer 
project repository um, they have they have the how to here you can see how to do all that here but basically they should do it so let's just go ahead and uh, so I'm just going to hit enter and then uh, all right so it's going to open a browser for me so I can log in into my Microsoft stream account so I'm just waiting for the page to load and then uh, okay right so page loaded I'm just going to enter my email Alright, so it's going to take me to my organization's signing page and then log in there as well. Alright, so uh, login is successful. Just going to click yes and then yes. Um, so I'm just going to wait a while. All right. So the terminal shows that um, login is successful, and then download should begin any moment from now. Let me just make this full screen so you can see what's happening. All right, so download has begun, and uh, yes, so I'm just going to pause the video, and then when it's done, I'll show you. So let me just minimize this, and uh, yes, so um, as you can see here in the distribution folder, a new folder has been created called videos, and then my my file is being downloaded my video is being downloaded with a mkv format okay so uh, yes okay so um the video is just going to download uh, i'm not going to waste your time by waiting for it to download so if you have any problems running this streamer um, file um, just leave your comments in the comment section below and like the video um, subscribe and thank you for watching